we'll start with a Mustad C49X Heritage. Uh, this is a size 18 barbless. I have sheer 40 naught red. I've got a little uh, glass, clear glass or pearl bead on there. So we just attach our tying thread and we just secure that bead to start with at the top. We'll go back a wee ways, remove that. That's good. Then we need some ultra wire silver. This is the riffraff midge, a very effective pattern, quick to tie. So what we want to do is just pop that wire up to the bead and we'll just secure that a couple of turns and then I'll spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile and then we'll go down and make the body as long or as short as you like I like a kind of medium length to spin up that tying thread again so I continue with a flat profile and then what I want to do is just build up the body a wee bit with a slight taper going up to the bead head we just got that remember to create your thread all the time so you return that flat profile down there and then we go back up again to there and then I can take the rib and go up this is a cracking pattern a really effective pattern three times over there then we go in front three or four times hold your tying thread tight and just work that off and we can just secure the end with a couple of turns we go back a couple of mil and what we need is some clear plastic raffia we only need a short length of that but enough to hold on to both ends so we take that and we pull it up on top we pinch it in, pull it back, a couple of turns over that. Then we need some fine peacock hurl. The best comes from these super fine hurl just under the eye. Now what we don't want, if I cut these all the way down, you'll see. What we don't want is the quill section. If we pull that through you see that the hurl starts there. We don't want the quill section on this, we just want the fine hurl. So we just trim those off there. And come in ever so slightly just behind the bead head. Go forward, take our hurl. And come up, tying thread, a tiny bit of wax over the hurl, and then in front with a couple of turns. Remove those two. Whip finisher. You don't need varnish on this because you've got your wax. Tiny bit of wax again. There we are. Tiny bit 
tying thread removed. Take hold of our wings. We want to trim those at a slight angle, like so. And that's it. Got a little bit of a that's the Riff Raff Midge. If you enjoyed the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.